my soccer universe. Uh, on a very personal level, these are trying times that my family and I have to go through at the moment. And for that reason, this manifests in me not being very coherent. I just made this video, I just didn't record it. Um, so that is one. The other one is yesterday. I was not very coherent speaking, mixing up Burundi and Uganda. Uh, today I'm again tired, I will try to keep it straight, but you know, if I make a mess slip up, it might be happening because of that. Um, very quickly, before we get to the games that happened yesterday, and before I can talk about them again, why did Guinea already qualify yesterday? Uh, it's not very obvious and it has to do with games that happened yesterday. Um, it's because Guinea was already ahead of the DRC. And so they needed only one team to be ahead of, and that was the team in Group C that will finish third, because no matter how Senegal against Kenya finishes, the third place team will be for sure not better than uh, Guinea. So that was the reason. Uh, but we won't f uh, start with um, that in Group C. First, we will start in Group D, um, where I could actually see most of South Africa against Morocco. Kind of a weird jersey matchup. I mean, I really like the South Africa jersey, but I didn't understand why Morocco is playing in white with red pants. I think red and white would have been even a better contrast, but so be it. So that's where I saw most. The uh, other game is, of course, Namibia against the Cote d'Ivoire or Ivory Coast. I personally prefer Cote d'Ivoire, and I think they want also that you call them, where I was very happy to see blue Namibia shirts. I didn't understand why the Cote d'Ivoire is playing in white and not in these wonderful orange jerseys, uh, which would also have provided contrast. It would have made for a wonderful, wonderful color matchup. Uh, the problem with South Africa against Morocco was, and that's dominated more or less the first third, third, third minutes, that a draw would see both of them. Um, not necessarily immediately through, but a draw is good enough for both of them. Morocco would win the group, South Africa has four points just behind Guinea and uh, was in good position to uh, qualify already for the next round. So, um, at the heat, not an exciting game. Um, a little bit more was happening in the other game, um, where Namibia actually had a few chances, but you know, Cote Cote was uh, more going forward and Gradel in the 39th uh, makes it 1-0. At that point the game had already heated up because um, uh, Percy Tau had a great chance around the 33rd uh, to make it 1-0. Uh, shots just slipped by, which woke up Morocco a little bit and they had a few uh, chances. Again, it was Amrabat and Belanda uh, and also Buzufa who um, really took them the game and um, were a little bit more active. But it ends with these scores, 0-0 and 1-0 at the halftime. In the second half, the Cote d'Ivoire kicks in a slightly different gear. Uh, and Serie D takes a wide shot that is deflected, makes it 2-0. Uh, and then if it wasn't for the goalkeeper, Sylvain Gbohu, for, uh, or for the Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire make a bad error by playing out the ball uh, directly to Kamatuka, who then just takes the ball and puts it into the net. 1-2, um, Namibia gets the first goal, but they quickly put away the game. Thereafter, Zaha in the 84th uh, makes it 3-0 and Cornet in the 89th makes it 4-0. Um, and if you see all of these, most of the uh, Cote d'Ivoire goals were actually really nicely taken, well worth watching the highlights that are linked above uh, before. Uh, South Africa, Morocco at that point really seemed like going to a standstill. Um, with South Africa, unfortunately, uh, drawing back a little bit more all the time, um, which kind of was dangerous, but they then really saw, yeah, we can secure this draw. They were going forward at the beginning. And Morocco, yes, a little bit doing things, but not really being all that dangerous themselves. Um, I want to say they hit once the bar. Yeah, they did. Uh, they did hit the bar um, in around the 60th uh, through uh, Hakimi, that I remember now. But other than that, you know, 
Uh, yes, you could feel if there's a goal coming, it will be more Morocco than South Africa. And then um, free kick from the left. Um, the ball comes into, into the box. South Africa cannot clear it. It falls to Busufa, who slots it home and gives Morocco a 1 0 win and puts South Africa in a little bit of trouble. They are not that they are out yet. They're still in there for a third place spot, but it's a much less comfortable position for them now. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, the group ends with um, Morocco winning it with three 1 0 wins and only the one against the Cote d'Ivoire was really convincing. Uh, there was, except for finishing a complete performance. Um, but the other two were a little bit scrappy, although, it, as I said yesterday, they didn't need to do necessarily that much. Just get the point and you win the group. Cote d'Ivoire is in second place, advances to the next stage, and South Africa uh, finishes third with a chance. I mean, minus one is not that bad. Three points, yeah. Four points would have been a lot better. Namibia is out. And so this sets up um, the finish of Group C, um, where it was actually two contrasting halves in those games. We had Kenya against Senegal. And I did not watch, I only saw the highlight, I was way too tired already. I, I just could see that the matchup, uh, color, the jersey match between Kenya and Senegal wo must have been a colorblind person nightmare. The red against green, I personally like it from the look, but it's um, if you're colorblind, you cannot tell those teams apart. Um, so that was the first game where, um, you know, Senegal, of course, was on, on the front foot. But the interesting thing is a draw between those two would have seen both of them through. So at the beginning of the game, it started nil-nil. Kenya actually was qualified because they would slot right behind uh, Guinea and would overtake the DRC and South Africa. So that was a slightly interesting uh fact that Rob would have seen both of them through. However, I think Senegal needed to make a statement performance and so it was always Senegal going forward. The other game, Tanzania-Algeria, um, very happy to see Tanzania in blue. It was another blue-white matchup and I actually think, that, um, even though they are template, the Algeria jerseys also look nice. I think the first uh, action of note was, uh, you know, were chances for Senegal uh, through Saar. Um, I think he hit once uh, the bar and was saved by the goalkeeper Matasi, who then had his big moment when a penalty was given and Sadio Mane with kind of a slow run-up um, puts it to his right and uh, Matasi can save it. And Matasi had a really good first half. But the goal action was happening in the other game where Algeria basically woke up. Slimani makes it 1-0 in the 35th, Urnas in the 39th, and then the, makes it 2-0 in a stoppage type, 3-0. Uh, and puts Algeria well on their way of winning this group comfortably. And also, underlines, Algeria is a very dangerous team, a team that we have to uh, really uh, count on when it comes to... Um, uh, the big cup at the end. I can see Algeria going far in this one. Uh, they've probably have been one of the uh, most convincing teams. And then the goals come in the second half, but it's uh, but Patrick Matasi who had this great first half and then he makes a blunder, uh, drops basically the ball in the uh, box, so cannot clear it, r running out, the ball comes to uh, Ismail Lassar, who puts it into the net, 1-0. Senegal, then Kenya, of course, wants to get the equalizer, moves forward. And at that point, uh, we already have another qualified team. If Senegal wins, the DRC moves into a fixed uh, spot of qual qualification. So um, Kenya wants to get back that spot. Kenya uh, commits man forward uh, on a corner of a free kick. Uh, the ball is punted out by Senegal. Uh, makes a jump right at the tar touchline and um, or even deeper in the touchline uh, in the middle of the attacking half uh, of Senegal uh, and Mane just takes it off the defender and goes clear and goal where yeah, also Matazi is a little bit too far out uh, and then Senegal earns a penalty uh, Philemon Tieno gets his second yellow is sent off 
Mane steps up and this time, even though Matazi is there, converts, makes it 3-0. Senegal is safely in second uh, place. And so the group finishes Algeria 9, Senegal 6, Kenya 3 in a very tricky spot because you basically need all the favorites uh, today to win. We'll talk about that um, in order for them to finish among the uh, four best third place teams. And Tanzania was already eliminated ahead of this one. As I said, the DRC is now qualified too. Uh, this sets up the following uh, bracket where um, Uganda plays Senegal, Morocco. Uh, uh, we have to see. Uh, we will play a third place team. Madagascar will play most likely the DRC. There's only one Hong Kong combination where they will want to play the DRC. Uh, the Cote d'Ivoire is still waiting their opponent. Algeria most likely against Guinea. It's the same combination that will send the DRC down. Um, so uh, if it's not Guinea, Algeria will play against the DRC. Uh, Nigeria has to wait for the opponent. And Egypt um, also has to still wait for the opponent. Um, so, and we also finish up to uh, in this evening the other two groups, uh, the early games, Pit Benin against Cameroon and Guinea-Bissau against Ghana. I think those are pretty even games in terms of interest. Um, the late games, Mauritania, Tunisia and Angola-Mali. I think Angola-Mali is the one uh, to look at. Both are in forms of doubleheaders in Ismailia and Suez, which I think is also kind of interesting to see. Well... We also have a Women's World Cup semi-final today and we have a Copa America semi-final today. So there's a lot to watch for and I actually think that the Women's World Cup um, semi-final is probably the one that I'll, I'll, I'll be watching uh, as much as I love my Cameroon and Ghana. But hey, let's see how it will go. Maybe, maybe I will sleep through all of them the way that I am. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you thought about yesterday's games. Uh, subscribe. If you want to see more, and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.